Requirement Yogi is a tool to help you write specifications. This series is designed for users who want to become proficient at using Requirement Yogi for Confluence Data Center, and in this tutorial, we'll go over the Requirement Yogi macro. First things first, when looking at a Confluence page, the Requirement Yogi macro will look like this. The Requirement pop-up allows you to navigate between requirements and see its details. In this pop-up, you can see the properties, the external properties with an asterisk, the dependencies, links on other pages, JIRA issues, and tests. We will see later how those can be used to build a traceability matrix. Let's focus on how you can efficiently insert and create your requirements. In edit mode, there are three ways to insert a macro in Confluence. Use the keyboard shortcut Alt-Shift-R and enter your requirement key. Or open a curly bracket, type the name of the macro, choose the correct macro with the arrow keys and type Enter, or add the macro with the Insert More content menu. To avoid getting lost between your requirements, we recommend you to put the type of document or requirement in the prefix of the key and a following number to organize them. Here, the BR stands for Business Requirement and FN for Functional Requirements. In terms of format, you are relatively free. We support most keyboard symbols, including Japanese or Arabic letters. Symbols such as the paragraph one are used a lot to refer a specific paragraph in a page. You can also put blank spaces in your keys. However, no slash and backslash. You are also free to use the paragraphs instead of tables to write requirements. You can even put requirement keys in titles. We recommend that you use tables because each column becomes a property. Similarly, if you put a link to a requirement, it becomes a dependency, and the relationship name is the title of the column. There are three ways to insert requirement keys in bulk. If you want to generate multiple keys from empty cells, select various cells of your table and use the keyboard shortcut. It will automatically create all the following requirements of the key and number you choose. It also works on paragraphs. If your document already has key numbers, then you can select those numbers and replace them using the keyboard shortcut. And the last way is in view mode. If keys already exist, select the text you want to transform and click on the Requirement Yogi logo appearing. We'd like to attract your attention on this powerful little dialog. By default, it will only transform your current key. It will also search the entire space for references to this key and replace them in other pages of the space. But it can also replace all similar keys in your page, for example, all keys starting with REC. And even better, if you want to replace even more key patterns and you are familiar with regex, you can edit the pattern and tell the software exactly which terms should be replaced on the page. This is, however, reserved for advanced users. Please note that this dialog is different in the editor and in view mode. One note about permissions, requirements are visible to everyone in the space. If you want to make your page private, the requirements won't be private. As soon as you add a requirement macro on a page, the body of the requirement will be exported to the whole space and visible to any user of the space, even if the page is private. And we're done for the macro. Check out our next tutorial videos to become an expert at Requirement Yogi.